Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, MBT. <laughs> so uh, I think the last thing that I did with you guys with the latest build, which is 8443. Let's uh, go to help and about Microsoft deployment workbench 8443. Yes, uh, we installed it. We installed the latest ADK for Windows 10. We installed the deployment bench and also we uh, imported Windows Server 2016 because I'm going to be doing something later on with that and we created a task sequence. So as you guys know, I love to deploy my operating system with what? Pixie Boot. Uh, so we're going to install WDS and also we're going to configure our DHCP. Uh, this is the first time for me configuring DHCP within the environment because the times that I've deployed is I've been using my router to use DHCP. I've never actually configured DHCP within the Windows environment. So this is a first for me. So I got it up and running. And let's uh, let's expand this and close that up. And let's stretch this out a little bit. Uh, I created my scope. and But within my scope options, uh, I, within my scope options, I just have like the basics and I need to get in here and configure it for it to work properly. DHCP and WDS both use the same uh, port options, both UDP options. I believe 66 and 67 are used for both of them. So that means if DHCP is using a particular port and WDS needs that port, I believe 67 or 66, it's, it's a collision between traffic. So you have to configure DHCP properly for it to share that traffic within your WDS. So let's get started. So I'm going to click on Windows and Server Manager. And once Server Manager is up and running, we're going to click on Manage, Add Roles and Features. We're gonna click on Next, click Next, click Next. And what we want is our Windows Deployment Services. So we're gonna click on that. We're gonna add all the features. We're gonna click on Next, awesome. Click next on that, click next on that. We do want the deployment server as well as the transport server. Just leave that as default, click on next. And we're going to click install. I don't think you need to do a restart on your server, but if you're a person like me, go for it. I love to restart every time I install a new feature. Okay, so installation is completed. Awesome, you get the nice installation it has succeeded on your blah server, whatever name your server is. We're gonna close that up and uh, I'm also gonna close up this window because I don't need it anymore. We need to click on start and we need to locate our uh, new service. So let's go, where are you? Uh, Windows Administrative and here it goes, Windows Deployment Services. So I'm gonna right click on this guy, I'm gonna go to more and I'm going to pin it to the taskbar because I'm definitely gonna be using a lot, right? So we're going to click on it and it's gonna launch up, awesome. And we're gonna click on servers. As you can see, we get a nice little exclamation point because it hasn't been configured. So we need to right click on it and configure the server. So I'm gonna read all this information because this is very important. As you can see, there's an active DHCP server on the network. This is because Windows Deployment Services uses Pixie Boot execution environment, right? Uh, which relies on the DHCP for IP addressing. So that's a big thing. So you gotta, gotta configure it. So what we're gonna do is click on next. Now for this option, I'm gonna keep it as integrated with Active Directory, okay? Uh, you could do a standalone server, really up to you. We're gonna click on next. Uh, I'm gonna leave it as the default C drive. Best practice is drop it somewhere else other than the C drive, like your D drive, partition drive. Uh, click on next. And the volume selected is also your Windows system volume. Again, this is the warning that you're gonna get. That's why it's best that you drop it somewhere else. But I'm gonna continue. Click on yes. And here it goes. So it says the proxy DHCP server. If the DHCP is running on the server, check both of the following checkboxes and use your DHCP tool to add the appropriate Pixie options to all the DHCP and your DHCP v6 scopes. I'm gonna leave everything as the default and we're gonna click on next. And do not respond to any clients. I want to respond to all clients, known and unknown, doesn't matter, right? Uh, again, it really depends on your environment. So pick the right one for you. For me, because this is my testing lab, I'm gonna pick all clients, doesn't matter if it's known and unknown, okay? And we are going to click on next and it's going to configure. 
And the next thing that we need to do, uh, the service did not respond to the start control request on a timely fashion. Uh, so that means I have to uh, manually start it. It's no problem. So we are going to do is right click on it and go to all tasks and we're going to start and see what happens. And it's start. Awesome. Get that nice little green check mark. Oh yeah, awesome. So the next thing that we need to do is get inside our DHCP and configure that for our Pixie environment to work correctly. Right now I have no boot images, but uh, once I configure my DHCP, I go inside my WDS and import those two boot images within my MDT and then we're gonna test it out and see how it works. So I'm going to minimize this real quick. Going, I'm gonna go inside my DHCP, most likely scope options. I'm going to right click and configure options. Now the one that we need to do is, I'm looking at my notes right here, my little black book, always have my notes with me. We need to do is a 66 and a 67. Now 66 is a boot server host name, which would be the IP address of your WDS, all right, or yeah, your WDF server. And your 67 is the boot file name, okay? So let's locate our 66, go all the way to 66. Awesome, this is the one that we want, 66. And the stream value would be your IP address of your MDT slash WDS server. So I'm gonna do a Windows R, I'm gonna do a command, uh, CMD, IP config, and it is 192, that's my number. I don't know what you guys have. So uh, we're going to do is a 192, 168, 47, this is, this is actually IP address from my environment, from my lab, and we're going to press apply. Oh, I got a comma in there. Got a comma, make sure it's a period. And then we're going to apply. Excellent, because definitely we're gonna have an error if I have a comma there. And the next one will be uh, 67, your boot file. And for the boot file, I'm pushing out 64 bit stuff. So I'm going to do is a slash boot slash x64 slash and wdsmbp.com is it right and we're going to click apply and okay i'm going to exit out of this command prompt so once everything is configured within our dhcp server what we're going to do is uh let's get inside our wds uh, i'm going to right click on my boot images i'm going to add a boot image i'm going to browse and i'm going to go inside our deployment share which is c drive deployment share boot and i'm going to I'm going to do only the 64 bit and later on behind the scenes I'm going to do 86. So I'm going to do 64 and I'm going to click next and next and it's going to import that boot image within our uh, boot images node within our WDS server. So once that's done, what I like to do is restart my WDS. You don't really have to do that, but I like to do that. So I'm going to click on finish and I'm going to right click on it and go to all tasks and then restart it. If everything goes well, I should get this nice successfully restarted to WDS. Awesome. I'm going to click OK. And now it's time for us to test this bad boy out. So what I'm going to do is uh, going to make this a little small because I'm running VMware Workstation with all my environment. I'm going to click on the host. I'm going to go here and let's create a folder called BJ YouTube. It's blank. And I'm going to copy that path. Awesome. And I'm going to do file, new virtual machine. Again, we're pushing out a Windows 10 machine. So let's pick the right one. I'm gonna drop it in this little location. And the name would be this. Awesome, next. And I'll leave it at 60 gigs, finish, awesome. Cool, 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 cool. So what I'm gonna do is start this guy and I need to, as a man, man, Press F12. Okay, cool. It takes forever within VM Workstation to get into the Pixie Boot, especially if you have one of those um, keyboards that you have to do like function to make to make it work. But it looks like it's uh, up and running. Uh, it's only picking up the 64-bit light touches because that's the boot image that we inserted. And we are going to hit enter. It's going to boot into our 64 bit with an hour MDT. How awesome is that? Uh, I'm going to go here. I want to go inside our address pool, address leases. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that, look at that. Wait a minute. Is that the, is that the machine? 
47. Yeah, that's the machine. Awesome. Awesome. So it looks like DHCP is pushing out uh, an IP address to our machine right here. How awesome is that? Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm super excited. Cool, so our MDT is working with no problem. Okay, so so far what we've done is install WDS. We configured it. It gave us a nice little warning that we have DHCP enabled within our environment. Uh, once we got our WDS up and running somewhat, we had to go inside our DHCP and uh, configure two policies. We configured 66 and 67. Uh, our boot server host name was the IP address of our MDT slash WDS server. And for the boot file name, we pointed it to boot 64 WDS nbp.com. Now, this particular file is located right here within the C drive. I'm going to show you C drive, remote install, and uh, boots. And whichever flavor you're doing, 64 or 32 bit, just go inside that folder. We did 64, so if you go all the way to the bottom, there it goes. A lot of people will use Pixie Boot. But for me, I like to use this guy right here because it always works for my environment. Uh, if it, if this if this file doesn't work for you, try the Pixie Boo and try that out. But it looks like it's working because it picked it up. And I, I say if I configure, if I exit in Command Prompt and I do a uh, IP config, it goes forty seven one forty one. If we go inside our address lease. 4741 so it's working with no problem hopefully you guys enjoyed this video leave comments right below and i catch you guys on the next mdt video peace out